Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. And the topic of this 10 minute moan is yet another SMP manifesto lie. Something I've not fulfilled, but they promised people they would when they put themselves and offered themselves up for election in the Scottish Parliament in uh, 2021. Now this isn't the biggest, most serious thing that was part of the manifesto, but it just gives us another insight into their habit of telling the Scottish people anything to vote them in and just not performing. And what happened for the 2021 election for the Scottish Parliament, SNP promised a £2 million budget and what they were calling a public artwork fund. And that was to create statues, etc., um, for, particularly for women and minorities. Now, some people might think that's not the most important thing in the world. Some people it might, you know, not be important at all. And I understand that. However, no funds ever been set up. And guess what? They blame Westminster. Now, this is to add to the free laptops for all, free school meals for all, and free bikes for all. You know, all these things that the SNP have promised yet failed to deliver on. And these aren't multi-billion pound projects we're talking about. In the whole scheme of things, the majority of these two million pounds for a, a statue budget isn't really that big a, a commitment yet. They have failed. And what the reasoning behind this fund was, they felt that women in particular and minorities were under um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Underused, underutilised in when you look across Scotland with statues, etc., and other public arts, um, that women in particular and the minorities were were, um, were not um, shown enough. And out 20 statues in the whole of Scotland are women. That's an incredible statistic, isn't it? I had no idea. We see statues often, particularly in our major towns, and five out of 20 women or of Queen Victoria, which again, I found that bizarre. I thought there would have been more about Queen Victoria. She was such an important um, character in the history of our country. But there you are, you know, so there's 20 statues in the whole of Scotland representing women, which is bizarre when you think about it. And four out of 20 are not actually of women, they're just symbolic of women. You know, if there was like a statue with an angel playing a trumpet or something, then it's not a woman in particular or someone of, of historical value. It's just a, an object. So when you take out the, the the five for Queen Victoria and the four the statues actually of no women, they're just female. That's uh, 11 statues to other people, other women in Scotland, and that's an incredibly low number. And another odd statistic is in Edinburgh alone, there are two statues of women, only two in the capital of Scotland. Yet, and I saw one myself on Monday, touched its wee nose, there's five statues of dogs in Edinburgh. That's bizarre, isn't it? It's just incredible. Perth has more statues for fish than it has of women. I don't know the number. It's just a, a quote I picked up from, I think it was the Daily Express, and I was reading about this story. And, you know, and again, is it important? Well, yeah, I guess that is important statutes. Um, Statistics. Is it something we should be spending twenty mil, uh, two million pounds on rectifying? Well, that's open for debate. I think it's certainly it's uh, it's a bit out, out of kilt, um, but that's where we are. And the SNP promised they were going to put a two million pound fund in place to rectify this, and have been unable to do so. And the Scottish government. This is where we get a bit interesting, right? The Scottish government has admitted they've got no time scale nor money set aside for this. They blame, amongst other things, Brexit, Ukraine, budgetary constraints, and they've now set a new 2028 stroke 29 commitment to invest in culture. These people are incredible. Now, 
Brexit had happened before you made this commitment, and I don't really know what knock-on effect the Ukraine war would have on what's getting on and the budget constraints. We always blame Westminster anyway, so I sort of stop hearing that. That one just goes right over the head now when you use that language. But the most bizarre thing I, I've read out of this, Hums has declared he's going to sort out culture with £100 million each year extra funding for culture. Well, if you couldn't find £2 million for this, not even just a new idea, for something you promised Scotland in your manifesto, you promised £2 million in 2021. And you don't know when you can provide that, and you're saying that there's no money for that. How can you made, make wild claims that you are going to commit a hundred million pounds per year extra between now and 2028. It beggars belief. You actually think we are stupid. And again, I'll emphasize the whole subject here may not of oh, you know the two million pounds for statues of women and minorities might not be the most important thing in the world, particularly today when we have so much going on in the world. However, it is a fantastic example of the lies these people tell. And then, when they're questioned on their lies, like they have been recently on, there's this £2 million, what's happening to it, they then come out with even more outrageous claims. That well, we're going to put £100 million more in. Are you? What, is the war in the Ukraine, Brexit, and the budget constraints just going to disappear now because you've been questioned on something? And we, we now go 50-fold, right? We have commitment. Which is, you know, for a commitment of £2 million we couldn't fulfil, we're now just making another one of £100 million. You people live in a fantasy world. And I think because you've lived on the promise so long of independence, that quite a lot of Scots were prepared to allow you more leeway than any other party in the history of politics in the United Kingdom. But, thankfully, I can see more and more of these people who still are nationalists and, you know, they have a desire for independence, which is fine because that's just an opinion. My opinion is different. We are allowed to have, pol uh, you know, polar opinions without falling out of each other and destroying each other. But, day by day, week by week, I see more and more nationalists turning against you because they are fed up listening to the promises and having them broken. And I mentioned on the stage, out, uh, the podium, sorry, outside uh, Holyrood on Monday, that my belief is that this party have destroyed the country for unionists and have also destroyed the hopes of independence for nationalists. And day by day, more of these nationalists are waking up and realising that despite their continued promise of independence, it's always tomorrow, that supporting you is futile. So now you have actually managed to unite some people, not all, but some people who are nationalists and unionists by saying enough is enough. And every time we find more lies and more broken promises, regardless of the subject of those broken promises, you will lose more and more support. And if you lose enough support, by the time the Westminster election comes, probably in October this year, September, October time, you'll have even less money. Because you make money from Westminster, you make money from the MPs who uh, provide, via their wages, a levy for you allowing them to go to Westminster. They pay you part of the wages back that goes into your pot. So you as a party, if more and more people are turned against you and more and more people do the right thing and vote those in who have got the best chance of beating you, you lose more seats, you lose more money, and you're potentially bankrupt, you're morally bankrupt, party, forever. And it's not just the work of unionists. Now, more than ever, and increasing every day, nationalists are turning against you. Deservedly and rightly so. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Get involved with the comments below, they're always great. Most importantly of all, 
unless you're SNP, the people who write the manifestos and blatantly tell lies to the Scottish people, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.